Hey, how's it going everyone? This is PD Prologue and it is the player ratings for yesterday's 0-0 draw against Liverpool at St James's Park. Thoroughly deserved the point, really stepped up the performance as well. Much better it was indeed than what we have been seeing in the past few games where it's just been really bad, depressing and the style of football has just been all round dreadful. We knew we had a job to do yesterday because Liverpool, the reason why they're champions, they're looking to regain their title as well. But we knew a job had to be done massively, not to mention from our defence. It was superb. And Carl Dolo, once again, absolutely fantastic he was. I know Dubravka is now available. He was on the bench against Liverpool yesterday but honestly can you really be dropping Carl Dolo at this moment of time absolutely no chance you can't the lad has been phenomenal I he's been the best keeper in the Premier League this season without a doubt the saves he's been pulling off is phenomenal and the lad just deserves massive amounts of credit uh, as well he's just really done a job at this moment of time he really really has for sure oh hey so we know we end 2020 with the point and that was really good as well hopefully this is now a time to really start progressing a bit more now it was a much improved performance. Now we just want to see a lot more of that now as well. Here we are then, into the player ratings from what I've gone with from yesterday's game. Starting off with Carl Darlow, man of the match all day long. Saves he was pulling off were absolutely fantastic indeed. The lad, to me, also deserves an England call-up. Absolutely brilliant performance. Fantastic. Carl Dolo, he will get a 10 from me. He will. Absolutely brilliant. Going to move into the three centre-backs. First of all, on the right-hand side of the centre-back. And that was Fabian Cher. Brilliant performance from him as well. The one he had, where he had to clear off the line to stop uh, Saudi Omani from getting there and getting a boot on where to put it in the net. Fabian Cher was like, ah, uh -uh, I'm coming to get that ball before you get there, pal. And he did. That was the Fabian Cher we seen yesterday from what we have when he was uh, playing under Rafa. Absolutely great performance from Fabian Cher. Fantastic. He gets a nine from me. In the middle of the three centre-backs, and that was Federico Fernandez, And again, a really brilliant performance from him as well. He knew he had a job to do as well. He knew he had to put in some really good tackles to stop Liverpool getting into the box. To, uh, and also to stop them getting shots in as well. Really great performance from Federico Fernandez. Was captain yesterday, and that was a captain's performance as well. Federico Fernandez. He gets a nine from me as well. And the last of the three centre-backs on the left-hand side, and that was Kieran Clark. And again, another brilliant performance from him as well. Yes, he picked up a yellow card, but he all knew he had a job to do, and that was to stop Liverpool as well, particularly their attacking players from getting forward. And not to mention, he had that chance in the second half with a header, which was saved by Allison. Oh, if only of that went in, that would have made it a lot more better. But it was a really great performance from Kieran Clark, And he gets a nine from me as well. Into the wing backs, first of all, on the right-hand side. And that was DeAndre Yedlin. What a performance from him. I can't believe I'm saying this. He was superb yesterday. He was tracking back when he needed to. He was putting in tackles as well. And that is the Yedlin we saw yesterday. From what we have been seeing from the past couple of seasons. Does it look like his time at the club is coming to an end very, very soon? 
We just got to wait and find out. But that was a really great performance from Deodre Yedlin. It really, really was. Because I've been slating this lad so many times when he's come back into the side. But he proved everyone wrong yesterday with that performance. Yedlin will get a nine from me as well. On to the left-hand side of the wingbacks, that was Matt Ritchie. And again, really decent performance from him as well. Much better uh, performance it was than what he did play against Manchester City. It was a lot more better. His passing was a lot more better. His crossing he was getting into the box was trying to find uh, players as well. And we all know Matt Ritchie is a grafter. He loves to give 110% and he loves to just play the game and get on with it and get his head down. And that's what I do like about this lad uh, as well. So do you know what? I'm going to give Matt Ritchie an 8. Going to move into the two centre midfielders. First of all, Isaac Hayden. A great performance from him once again. We lo we This lad has been an improvement at this football club. Another grafter who also can put in tackles uh, as well to win the ball back. And that's what we also really like about this lad as well. The only now shaving thing now, the only guttering thing now, is that he was booked yesterday. And that was his fifth yellow card as well. Which means he now missed the game against Leicester City, which that will be a massive loss for her. But I think we do have options. I think the one I'll be looking to bring back in is Shelby. Because Sean Longstaff's been awful at the moment. And Jeff Hendrick, well... He's just been a waste of a signing uh, as well. A really good performance from Isaac Hayden yesterday. He will get an 8 fr from me. Alongside him, and that was Matty Longstaff. And again, another great performance. His passing was superb. And I'm delighted we have now given this lad a chance now. The lad deserves it. And now we want to see a lot more chances for this lad to be given. He's certainly better than his brother Sean at the moment. Hopefully there is more to come from Matty Longstaff uh, this season as well. The lad deserves an opportunity. He really, really does. And Matty Longstaff, he will get an 8 from me. Just like Isaac Hayden. Into the attacking areas. First of all, on the right hand side. And it was Jacob Murphy, and I thought that was a really decent performance, I thought, from him. He knew he had to get forward. It is the job of what a winger has to do a lot of the time, to try and get balls in the box. But again, I'm, this, this is another lad I'm delighted we have given chances at this club as well, after he's been out on loan the past two seasons. But Steve Bruce wanted to keep the faith in this lad, and he's done that. And Jacob Murphy, I think, is really stepping up his game now. And the lad has deserved a chance as well. So I'm going to give Jacob Murphy a 7. On the left-hand side, and that was Joe Linton. And again, I thought that was a decent performance from him as well. I thought his passing was really good. His holder play that was really good as well. What he does need to improve on, I would say, is to learn to try and look to get to the ball a lot more quicker. Just to, He needs to be a bit more faster. That is the thing. And if he works on that side of his game, I think we could see an improvement from Joe Linton. But I was happy with that performance from Joe Linton. And I will give him a 7 as well, just like Jacob Murphy. Up front, in the middle of the attacking area, up front as the striker, Callum Wilson. And it was a really great performance from him as well. There was that chance in the first half, thinking, should he have taken it? But I think that one was just Fabinho to the rescue to stop that one from going in. Because I think Callum Wilson would have looked to have put that under uh, Allison's legs uh, as well. But we all know why we're saying this lad. We brought him in. His holder play was great once again. And hopefully we can now see some more goals coming from him again very, very soon. Callum Wilson will get an 8 from me. Into the substitutions, first of all, and that was Miggy. And it wasn't bad, uh, I thought. You know, he had a chance which went way off target, unfortunately. But we all know his width play is not his strongest position. You can tell by that moment of time. You can tell when he's out on the widths. 
his confidence is not as great as what he is when he plays up the middle. Um, unfortunately, uh, that is the thing. But it wasn't bad, I thought, from Miggy. He said, you know what, I'll give Miggy a six. The last of the substitutions, because we only made two, and that was Jamal Lewis, who came on. And I didn't think he came on with an awful lot of uh, time remaining. So I'm not going to mark him, actually. But if I do, I think it would just be down the middle and go with a five. On to the manager, Steve Bruce. And you know what? I'll tell you what. That was well played yesterday. Then players did a job. Please, may that continue. My minds are not changing about you yet. We need to see more of that. None of this dross football, please, anymore, Steve. Hopefully, Lee, if you keep playing, keeping uh, going with this style, with this football, how we played against Liverpool yesterday, hopefully we can now see some improvement. This dross of football has to be thrown out the window. But it was well played yesterday, Steve. So you will get an eight from me. So there we are. That is my player ratings from uh, what I've gone with. Would you agree with them? If you were to change any of them, let me know as always down in the comments section because it's always great to get your thoughts uh, as well. So we do have a, a bit of a break, a few day break before we take on Leicester on Sunday. And we are expecting a really, really tough game from that as well. But hopefully if we can play like we did against Liverpool, Hopefully there's another chance we can grab something out of that game uh, as well. So, thank you for watching. Of course, don't forget to give this video a like a comment. Of course, if you haven't checked me out before, please make sure you do hit the subscribe button. Until next time, I shall catch us all later. Take care. We end 2020 with a point. Also, not to mention to you lot as well. Have a great new year as well. Hopefully 2021 will be a much better year for us all as well. Catch us all later.